Hello and welcome to another How to Code Well web chat. Today we're going to talk about task management. When you've got a things to do list of technical things to do, how do you manage that? So I use a tool called Jira, right? So that's a way of creating agile uh, work packets, if you will, uh, sprints, where you break down a series of epics, a series of stories into manageable uh, tasks that you can do or, or, or story points and stuff like that. Um, and, and you end up with like a sprint maybe a, every week, um, which is what I'm trying to achieve, a sprint a week, where you, you think about the week ahead and you think about what you want to achieve by the end of that week and you put in all the tasks that you want to do in that week. And they those tasks ref reflect a portion of the part of the application, be it uh, an epic or a story or, or what have you. Um, and then at the end of the week, it's very satisfying to press the complete sprint button when all the tasks are, are out of there. Um, it's also very nice to be able to bring in stuff from the backlog into the sprint when you're thinking that your sprint is getting quite uh, light. Uh, maybe you're doing a lot of work uh, far quicker than you anticipated. Um, it's not always like that. <laughs> it's not always like that at all. Sometimes you end up creating tasks um, because you think that uh, uh, you're, the portion of work that you're doing is actually spawned off some other bits and pieces that perhaps maybe you haven't thought of yet. Um, so anyway, uh, I was looking at my tasks for the rest of the week and I thought, well, you know, it's quite a mixed bag of stuff. So I'm going to do a video on how I'm going to manage that. Some of the tasks are like um, very quick wins. So things like reordering lists, um, maybe doing it in di a different date order, maybe doing it in a different source order, that kind of thing. Not very uh, uh, technically challenging. Um, there are other things in there like uh, changing some of the, the colors of certain buttons and stuff like that. Um, and then there's the harder stuff, right? So there's you know, creating API endpoints or or uh, dealing with Docker images and, and stuff like that. Stuff that's going to take a bit of time to do. Stuff that's going to take uh, a series of unit tests to uh, ensure that that's working and, and so forth. So it is a real mixed bag of stuff. Now I'm a remote developer. Most of the work I do is here in the WebSomatic office. Um, and uh, the other developers, the other uh, team members, have eyes on the work that I do. They can see uh, that they're watchers of these JIRA tasks. They can see that things are being moved from in progress to being done. They can see when sprints are being completed and, and stuff like that. They're also able to see things on uh, on other bits and pieces like Slack. Um, so when webhooks get triggered and so forth, which is very, very cool because it, it gives you a sort of a sense of achievement when you hear the, the notification ping and you know, yep, that, that task's been done and so forth. It kind of like when you think that your project is, is slowing down, but you're starting to get all these notifications, you can kind of think, well, no, actually progress is being made. Let's now talk about the actual management of these tasks. Because like I said, some of them are very small, some of them are quite big. When I say small and big, I'm, I'm talking, you know, 15 minutes small, hour, maybe two hours uh, big. And anything bigger than that, what I usually try and do is, is, is carve that up into even smaller tasks and chunks. So how should I approach this? Well, there is a temptation, of course, to just jump in and do all the quick wins first, right? Because that's a very quick sense of achievement the feedback loop is very small you can you can do all these things very quickly however you end up with these large tasks that are left for you to deal with at the end of the week now i try as much as i can to not do a humongous task on the end of the week because um you know i don't want that stress at the end of the week so i try and leave something that i know is a quick win um to the end of the week also i find that the large tasks that i leave to the end of the day they can often bleed out into the evening, which means that I probably won't sleep very well because I'm thinking about this thing. I'm wired, I'm buzzing because I need to do this uh, piece of code. Um, I'm thinking about the processes and often I would wake up thinking about the work um, when it kind of rolls on to the next day. So what I try and do is do all the large stuff in the morning because that or or in the uh, in the afternoon because that means that I, I've got a bit of a breathing gap uh, that I can fit in small tasks 
Um, and also, I would go back through the backlog and see if there's any small things that I could do um, at the end of the day as well. It's important as well to to understand the impact that they have on other parts of the application. So for example, these quick wins are going to be fantastic for the user experience, right? Um, because they've all obviously already got this thing, but it would be nice if the list was in a different order. It would be nice if these other small things were done, these these visual changes were done um, very quickly, right? Because that, that then shows that you can work quite quickly on certain things. Whereas the bigger task, the writing extra uh, new functionality and stuff, that obviously doesn't exist yet, right? So there's no, there's no sort of real uh, urgency on that. Sometimes the urgency can be huge on really small tasks. Now, obviously, when you're starting a project, the urgency of of the whole thing is 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 uh, paramount, right? So everything has kind of the same urgency. It all needs to get done. But when you're using Jira, when you're doing it in, a, in an agile way, you can break things up into smaller little chunks. So I recommend Jira to anybody, uh, especially a freelancer who is trying to um, uh, carve up their working day into smaller little manageable chunks. Um, I've used Jira, I've used Redmine, that's really good as well. Uh, Trello is very good for very minimal uh, bits and pieces. So when I say minimal, that's kind of, I don't mean to disrespect J Trello, Trello is fantastic. But uh, it's a very minimalistic way of, of, of doing tasks. And to be honest, when you're writing out tasks, uh, you want to do it in a very simple way, right? Um, Jira is great, but it's very complicated. Um, it works very well when you're using the, the other suites of applications that integrate with Jira. Um, Redmine, again, is, is great. It's very open source. I do recommend getting some of these things, both uh, for the client that you're working on, but also for yourself, just so you've got a list of stuff that you know that you need to do and achieve. You can set some time uh, goals to it. So I've also used Redmine as a way of creating quotes or generating quotes or enabling me to create quotes, I should say. So when I get a big specification, when I get a big pro project spec come through, I can create little tasks that represent that that, that uh, project. And in those tasks, I can put in some time estimates. So that would generate my, you know, the, the, the time in which I believe it's going to take me to do. Um, and I can also look at those things and go, well, actually, I've said this is going to take me a day to, 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 to achieve. So let's see if we can break that up any further. And it's also very good when you're doing it like that to generate questions. You know, oh, I want to do this. So how am I going to do this? Where is it going to be hosted? Uh, does it need SSL certificates? Uh, all of that kind of stuff, you know, um, and then those generate tasks as well. So it's it's a very good way of, of both uh, managing the time that you're spending right now in your weekly sprint, but it's also very good at uh, planning for tasks or projects down the line. It's very useful when you're a freelancer. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you've got any comments, questions or queries, then do put them in the comment section below. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts and what tools that you use for managing time, managing tasks and so forth. Do subscribe to pick up the weekly web chats. I do one like this every week, um, as well as the weekly tutorials. So I've got tutorials on PHP, Docker, uh, MySQL and HTML. There's more coming along um, as time goes on, but uh, do subscribe to pick them up. Like the video if you found it helpful and do share it around if you think others will do so as well. Thanks again for watching. Happy coding. Cheers.